Okay guys, so we are checking out of this hotel right here, or at least on our way to do that. Today, we are going to pick up the RV. We haven't had it for five days. Been spending uh, time in hotels over here in San Antonio at the Riverwalk. These are the automatic elevators we were talking about. You punch the number in here instead of inside the elevator. And then it just takes you where you're going. So anyway, we are going to get the RV. We've been here for five days in San Antonio and we're gonna head out to Roswell, New Mexico. So a few minutes here, we're gonna be revealing the RV and what we had done. <laughs> People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me and someone who's cool, yeah. And I like the way you are. And now I want it all. Okay guys, the time has come. The RV is behind me. We're about to give you the full reveal right now. Now let me give you a breakdown of everything that we had done on here and why. I really could not stand the way this thing looked before. It was straight up 90s with those colors and that design, which was pretty cool in a way. I definitely wanted to give it a personal touch, make it look more crisp and clean and newer, and that's exactly what we did. So the first thing that we did, we had them take off all the old pinstripes any of that ugly, uh, I don't even know what color green it was, like a teal. And then we had the entire top half wrapped in pure white all the way around the coach. Then I hated that green. So we had the bottom half, all the compartments done in a metallic gray. We left all of this up front on each side, a bright white canvas to do whatever we want over time but we knew we wanted the new channel on here. So we have our Romancing the States logo right here with the Ohio and Louisiana states on it. Join us on YouTube, an awesome road right here, which we're gonna utilize for something else I'll tell you about soon. We put the same logo on the back here and around the side here as well. And like I said, we also have this full side up here, just a bright white canvas to do whatever we want with. The front here is actually also going to have a Romancing the States title up here, either on the glass or on that white part we haven't decided yet. The decal is actually being shipped to us for that, so once we get it, we'll put it on there ourselves. And if you remember, we had our state map on the door. We had to take it off to have this wrapped. So we did buy a new one, and what we're actually going to do, we may still put a state map for the state stickers back on the door or maybe around here. We'll decide that later. But for now, since basically everybody in the RV community has one of those and they're all doing the same thing, I like to do different things. So following the flow of this road map around the whole RV, we're going to take our state stickers, put them on that road in accordance to when we actually went there. That way it'll kind of tell more of our story about where we've traveled to. We also had the decals put on in a way that when we put the slide out, it's not interrupted. So you can see the slide is out here. You can see where the road map matches up and uh, the Romancing the States logo is not interrupted by like going off either side or the top or bottom or anything. On each side, it does completely cover the windows, but that's okay because that's in the bedroom that blocks out the light. And we're actually gonna be putting a headboard on the inside there anyway, so it's gonna completely cover that window. So there it is, guys. In a nutshell, that is the wrap that we had done. All the Romancing the States logos are on there, 
and we have the whole pure white canvas to do whatever else we want with. If we want to put that Nate guy on YouTube or Life Unboxed or whatever we want to do, we have the freedom to choose and do it ourselves. People always told me I need some